In this History Illustrated video, we're going to discuss how using lines of latitude and lines of longitude will allow you to locate something anywhere on the Earth. Earlier, we discussed how meridians, lines of longitude, measure things east and west of the prime meridian. We also discussed how parallels, lines of latitude, measure things north or south of the equator. Since the Earth is basically a circle, or more specifically, a sphere shape, we can divide the Earth into 360 degrees just like you would do in a math class. Going halfway around the Earth would be 180 degrees. Going half of that would be 90 degrees. You can continue to do this on and on. So this would be 30 degrees north of the equator, and this would be 60 degrees north. And the top would be 90 degrees because we went one fourth of the way around. If you start at the prime meridian and go east or west from there, it works the same way. This is 30 degrees west, this is 60 degrees west, and now 90 degrees west. So using this, we can locate cities and other important things on the earth. For example, New Orleans is roughly 30 degrees north and 90 degrees west. Let's find that real quick. First, we can start where the equator and the prime meridian meet. This would be zero degrees latitude and zero degrees longitude. From there, we can move 30 degrees north. That means going up. And then we can move 90 degrees west. That means going to the left. Where they meet, right here, is 30 degrees north and 90 degrees west. And like we mentioned earlier, that means I could put a dot right here and that must be where New Orleans is on the map. When you use your GPS, a satellite in space uses longitude and latitude to determine where you are, and it tells you what your coordinates are. When you're getting directions, it finds the coordinates of where you're wanting to go and where you're actually at, and it makes a route for the best way to get there.